I remember my first fight for sure because that wasn't against Marvin Eastman, that was against Tito Ortiz. So uh, that was kind of crazy experience. Uh, I remember that was in Atlantic City, uh, UFC 50. That was kind of, uh, like I said, on the ground, not a lot of people, only one sponsor at that time. Uh, that, was, that was kind of, kind of weird. Uh, that was maybe 50 people at the weigh-in too. Uh, so that was that was very, very different than, than today, but uh, the same thing, man. In the locker room, we were, I think we were 10 in the, in, in the same room, and the same locker room. That was very, very tight, but uh, that, was, that was amazing. And the people, uh, was a lot of people at the venue, but there was a lot of people from Quebec too. Uh, they were traveling to go to see me and, uh, and George. The walk to the Octagon, I actually, I don't really remember that. That was, I was kind of in of, a of twilight zone. That was, that was crazy, just because of the, the situation I was in. Uh, I was fighting my idol at that time. I was fighting a guy who were on my screensaver. I was, you know, for, the, the, the four days before the fight, that was like, just like that. I didn't choose my song, and I just remember the song that, that was a very, very boring song. I was like, man, what kind of song is that? But that's the only thing I remember about the walking. Any questions from the red corner? Touch gloves, come out fighting. I rocked uh, Tito in the first 30 seconds. Tito looking for uh, a little control. Tito stumbled. Caught a right. After that, I was, I was just unreal. Like I said, I was like in twilight zone. Everything was in a slow motion. And uh, I wasn't at, at that level at that time. I didn't have the experience. I didn't have the skills to, to wrestle with that guy. So. Uh, yeah, I rocked him, but after that, they did a very, very nice double leg, and uh, I paid a price for that, for sure. <laughs> I'm happy about, about the performance, you know, 100%. That's the best thing that happened to me that night that was losing the fight like that. That's kind of crazy to say, but uh, that was the best thing that happened to me. I made my name with that fight. I made my name over Tito's name, and uh, that was the best thing that happened. Uh, we didn't have any conversation, Tito and I, uh, in the locker room, but in the cage, uh, right a after the decision, he shook my hand and he said, man, you have a big heart, but you are in the wrong weight division. I was, yeah, <laughs> tell me. And after that, I decided to drop at the, in the middleweight division. Uh, yeah, George and I, we, we, we spoke uh, after, the, after the fight in the locker room. Actually, we were in the same locker room. And uh, he looked at me and he was like, man, you're a crazy, crazy man. <laughs> it was like everybody, everybody thought that I will Tito will probably destroy me in the, in the first round, and I will uh, probably uh, get out of that cage very in a in very very bad way. But uh, uh, like I said, I made my name, and uh, that was uh, you know that was my first loss in my career, first loss in my career in my life. But at the same time, like I said, I made my name with that fight.